Well, hey guys, another little episode of Tool Time um, here at the lathe, and I wanted to show you my uh, my chuck stop um, for uh, for the lathe here. Now, this isn't my idea. I, uh, I'll be honest; I saw it on the web and I copied it, and uh, I thought I would go ahead and uh, share with everybody since there's been some discussion uh, from a few guys out there um, regarding uh, call it or not call it stops, but uh, stop for the chuck. I know Blue Hand's uh, video made one the other day, and um, I can't remember the other fellow's name, and I'll put it in the description uh, or type it into the video here. Um, but anyway, I made this uh, part, copied it. It's tapered to fit the uh, to fit the uh, head headstock of the unit, just like the collet adapter. And uh, by use of it, it uh, in an adjustment is what your part rests against. And I'll show it there and I'm showing a little test on it for repeatability. Okay, I'll be back to you shortly here. Okay, I've got a part uh, in the chuck and the stop is behind it. So I'll bring up the test indicator. And you can see I've got it set to zero there. Okay, so I'm going to pull Pull it back, remove the part, spin it a little bit, put it back in, and bring the test indicator back up again. Yeah, we're off about three tenths. Uh, there it is, right there. So it's basically off a couple of tenths. I'm going to do it again. Pull it out. Pull the part out. Let's see what we get. See if we get repeatability. Yeah, half a thou the other direction this time. Depending upon where you go to. Not bad. Try it one more time. Bring it back in again. And back on zero. Could be the could be the part. So anyway, it's got pretty good repeatability. I um, uh, just wanted to show that to you. Here's a view of the uh, stop installed. Um, you can see there's a, I've got a jam nut back there against it, um, which helps uh, actually tighten it. Uh, I've opted to use a uh, bolt here with a screw in the front, or, or made it so I can use a screwdriver on it. And so with the the nut, backing the nut off, of course now the stop is adjustable in depth. So uh, it can be any depth all the way back to where the, the stop is, which, uh, let's see, where's my scale? How about that? I put I put my scale away, so it's roughly if I went back to the face of stop uh, to the face of uh, face of the chuck is about uh, two inch nine hundred thousandths. So there is quite a range there that can go back against the stop in there. Uh, one of my thoughts is to replace this and use a uh, Allen head, which would make it adjustable but you still have to get to the nut. And my other thought is to actually uh, adjust it from behind. Um, but anyway, um, let me show you. The unit pops out. Just put a drive rod in the back. A little pop, and it comes out. Reinstall it, basically. Slide it back in. 
and it's ready to use again. You can see the, the units, uh, this, this was a piece of Manel, uh, came out of a, uh, uh, some sort of pump um, that, I, that I made it out of, just scrap that I had. Um, and so I've cut the taper uh, that matches the adapter for my collet system. So it's, it's the same taper that uh, my collet system has. Uh, as you saw earlier in videos where the collet, this goes in to hold the collets. So pretty simple, simple device. Just slide it in place and it's uh, ready to go and adjustable. Okay. Uh, making this video made me think of another another possibility is on the back side of this unit this this is the way it slides in if you can see right now in my chuck right there I've got a screwdriver that reaches all the way back uh, through the headstock um, and my thought is is to have the adjusting screw go all the way through and now I have basically uh, I don't have to change the screw out all the time I can just have one screw the whole length um, and adjust it from the back um, that's another alternative I'm thinking about um, and then the other the other thought is to make various size heads so if the part is bigger that's going to be held in the chuck um, if it's a if it's a bigger a bigger surface then there's more flat to sit against and likewise if it's a very small surface as you can see uh, this wouldn't work the chuck would tighten down onto the nut first so go ahead and make another shaft that's much smaller uh, that can press against small port ports and hold them in place also okay just some ideas maybe you guys have some feedback and comments on it some thoughts Alright, thanks for watching.